Jay Khalees and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that post bell so you're notified every time I post, okay? So as you can tell by the title, I am gonna teach y'all how to grow your hair. And this video was requested in my last video and it was highly requested. Everybody kept asking me, how do you grow your hair that long? How do you grow your hair that long? And I'm here to give y'all some tips the real tips, I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I'm gonna teach y'all what I did to grow my hair. I'm gonna address all the comments in the last video real quick before I teach y'all how to, you know, grow your hair, blah, blah, blah. Because y'all was saying I did not know my hair type. And I was looking at the comments, but I don't think I have the hair type that y'all was telling me I have. I think I have 3C4A because I see some 4A strands and a lot of people told me I had 4A3C. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't know too much, but I think I had 3C, 4A. But that's besides the point. That's not what y'all came here for. Y'all came here to know the tea, the tips on how to grow your hair, okay? We're just gonna start right into it because y'all know I don't like doing all that talking in the beginning. I like to get right into the video and that's what I'm gonna do. First step is cornrowing your hair. So when I was younger, like, Fresh out the womb, not fresh out the womb. Once I started getting hair, like one years old, two years old, my mom cornrowed my hair. Even if I didn't have no hair on the side, she cornrowed that hair like every week until it started growing. And I feel like that really helped my hair grow because first of all, it's considered a protective hairstyle, cornrowing. So cornroll your hair. I don't really cornroll my hair no more. Sometimes I do after I wash my hair. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I feel like that played a good part. Like I was, I had my hair in cornrows for a long time, like middle school type mess. I would walk into school with them dookie cornrows, but like, look what it did. Like, it, I feel like it played a big part, okay? Number two, step two, co-wash your hair. So, co-washing your hair. If you don't know co-washing your hair, that means washing your hair with just conditioner. And in middle school, that's when I started co-washing my hair. I got put on by my mom. Thanks, mom. These tips really go out there. But anyway, um, I wash, I used to co-wash my hair every day. And I know a lot of people like, don't wash your hair every day. Um, if you have curly hair, don't wash your hair every day. Girl. Wash your hair every day. Not every day. At least wash your hair four times a week or when you have like gel or like edge booster in your hair, wash it out. Like, I feel like washing your hair plays a good part. Like, because, I don't know. I feel like that helped my hair grow because in middle school, a lot of this stuff happened in middle school, if you, you know. But middle school, my hair was at a stump. But as soon as I started cold washing my hair, like every day, like every day I w woke up for school, I used to wash my hair with conditioner every day. And um, I feel like I said every day a lot. Um, and I feel like it played a big part of, you know, making my hair grow. Step three, moisturize your hair. Oh my God. This is really important step. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows to moisturize their hair using oils. I will put some products on their side. I use, what I use to moisturize my hair is I use Camille Rose. I just started getting into that. Thanks to y'all, because y'all put me onto Camille Rose. That's some good product. And I also use some oils. I don't know off the top of my head what it's called. Coconut oil. And it's a, diff it's a type of coconut oil I use. I'm going to put the products like over here. I'm going to show y'all little pictures of what I'm talking about. So you need to feed your hair, basically. You know, you know how we grow because we eat. We eat and we grow. So you need to feed your hair. Okay. Provide that like moisturizer. Everything in your hair is going to grow, grow, grow. Four. Take your time detangling. Start from the bottom and go up. Don't break through your hair like that. That's not good and it causes breakage. I used to do that. I used to just not even section my hair. I used to in a rush. No, take your time combing your hair because girl, you do not want mad hair. Like after you're done combing your whole head, you should have like this much, not even this much, that's OD. But like a little bit of hair loss. You shouldn't have like big clumps because I used to have big clumps. Oh my God. But now like, now that I am a little gentle, I'm still a little heavy handed. Like I be combing through my hair like, and don't use a little comb. I be seeing people comb their hair with these little tiny tooth combs. Do not use that. 
obviously it caused breakage this is the comb i use and this comb is great like i think this comb is big enough and there's some bigger combs like they're really big ones but i don't like those combs because if you know they're big but they're like skinnier like the tooth is more skinnier and it's a lot of them but i like these combs because i think this is called the wide tooth comb i think i'm pretty sure but yeah get this comb because this comb is and use a um denim brush or a fake denim brush i got the fake denim brush you know it works the same i think number five i feel like i'm going mad quick with these steps but i'm gonna try to explain in depth for y'all protective hairstyles like twists braids box braids cornrows faux locks wigs even wigs yeah etc like those are use protective hairstyles um, the hairstyle so you don't have to use gel and stuff and basically personally i ain't gonna i ain't gonna lie i don't be doing the protective hairstyles but i need to get out of that i'm gonna get out that habit but i do use protective hairstyles at night because your girl's not gonna go to sleep like this because no make sure you use protective hairstyles because that helps your hair grow like i said in middle school i kept my hair in protective hairstyles like braids and twists all the time just go to school with them ugly braid twists and look Boom. Period. Number six, stop using gel all the time. Jade, stop using gel all the time. And for y'all who use gel all the time, stop using gel all the time. It's not good for your hair. It breaks off your hair. It's cute because if you have that slick, you know, if you have that, that freaking bun slick, but stop using it all the time. Like, it's not good. But what I do, I use gel like every day. My, not every day, every, but mostly every day. But I wash my hair that same day. Like after my day's over, I then wash my hair. So um, it like I don't I don't have to sleep with the um gel, and it so it won't cause breakage. I mean sometimes you make some mistakes now and then, but and go to sleep with it. But as soon as long as you wash your hair, you're fine. So just stop using gel OD. Like try not to use it like six times. Like, you know, every day in a week. Don't don't do it. Try to limit down to like four, three, maybe none. Like just cut it out in general, but I ain't cutting it out. Seven. My favorite. Cause I keep this in all day. Like since Corona started, I kept this. I I, I keep my hair like this all the time since Corona started. Sleep with twists, braids and a bonnet or a scarf whatever you use and don't sleep with a hair tie basically this is the perfect time okay you don't go to school everything everybody got online school well for all i know i got online school so you can keep your hair in twist all day basically braids all day and just put a bonnet on make sure it's a satin bonnet uh, satin bonnet or silk bonnet or satin scarf silk scarf no cotton we don't like cotton over here you do not want to go to sleep with your hair like, for example, say I went to sleep like this. That is not good. My hair will dry out. In the morning time, it will be like, ooh, like help me, water. water. No hair ties. Um, When I was younger, it's a lot of when I was younger and when I was younger. But when I was younger, my mom never let me sleep with hair ties because hair ties cause breakage. Now I do be slipping. I be slipping a little bit. But don't sleep with your hair ties because them hair ties do be causing breakage. Speaking of hair ties, make sure y'all use like, I don't use hair ties. I don't use hair ties. I use like scrunchies like these, these big ones, or I use headbands and I just wrap it around. Because these, you see how thick the band is? I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah. The band is really thick and it won't, it doesn't really break off my hair unless I like yank it out, which I usually do. But don't do that. Don't do that. But little, them little skimpy, y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put a picture. Them little skimpy ha ha hair ties, don't use those. They be ripping off your hair. Eight. Talked about that. Eight, basically. I put the same thing I did for the other one. Make sure you moisturize your hair. Um, find the products that help your hair, like experience the, experiment the products. Um, basically, I talked about that. I don't know why I put that step twice, but it needed to be put twice so y'all can remember, please moisturize your hair. You need to moisturize your hair. Don't want to be walking around, hair dry. Number nine, trimming your hair. Y'all might come crazy at me in the comments and I'm prepared, but I don't trim my hair. 
I don't trim my hair. Like, I trim my hair probably in my lifetime. I trim my hair like four times. And um, the last time I trimmed my hair was in I don't know. I was like seven years old. I'm pretty sure I was seven years old. I don't trim my hair. I don't see a point in trimming my hair. Um, a lot of people tell me trimming your hair is good. Blah 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 this blah blah that. But I don't feel a need to trim my hair because I keep my hair curly most of the time. I don't straighten my hair. So you don't see the split ends. And I barely have split ends because when I straighten my hair, my hair doesn't really split. Like, it might have a couple, like, honest, honestly, it might have a couple, but like, people be saying, like, it's gonna like split all the way to the top. My hair, like, I haven't trimmed my hair since I was seven, and it's not all the way up here. It's like literally, can't even see them. Like, they're mad, like it's a little bit. So you, I'm not saying don't trim your hair, but to me, it's not a necessity. I don't wanna say that one. It's not really, I don't like trimming my hair. And they trim too much. They trim too much at the salon. And I mean, I could trim it myself, but I'm gonna trim too much. So I just decide not to cut it. And I don't have no problem with it. Like, it didn't really, I don't feel like it has an effect, you know? You don't have to trim your hair. Like you don't have to. Who's forcing you to trim your hair? Don't come crazy at me, okay? That's what I believe. Like I believe you don't need to trim your hair. Y'all you, probably looking at it like that's why it's uneven. It's not uneven when I straighten it, okay? When I straighten it, it all comes to the same length. It's just my hair are different curl patterns, okay? Because that's why you see some long pieces, some shorter. Mm, blah, blah, blah. Ten. The last step, genetics. Genetics plays a big role, and I think everybody should know that. The genetics determines how long your hair is, how thickness, like I feel like genetics play a big role. So don't stress. I feel like my hair mostly came from my genetics, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like it was just ran down and that's why it's like this but like of course i did things to help my hair grow grow because it would have stopped growing genetics do play a big role in your hair growth but that don't mean nothing like if your genetics say has is on a shorter term like your hair is more shorter you can still grow your hair but yeah a bonus tip straightening your hair do not straighten your hair do not like yeah you can straighten your hair i used to straighten my hair like once once a year, once a year. And the most I'll do is like two times a year, but I don't really straighten my hair. Like I said, into the trimming stuff. Like I don't straighten my hair. Straighten your hair cause heat damage. And speaking of heat damage, via to my last video, the wash day video. Y'all were saying, some of y'all were saying that I have heat damaged hair. And honestly, I feel like it looked like it was heat damage because I did have a towel over my head and the towel makes it frizzy and my hair is not heat damage i just wanted to put that out there my hair is not heat damage it's just that because i barely straighten my hair i straighten my hair like once a year twice a year sometimes so yeah i just wanted to like put that out there but yeah don't straighten your hair a lot because straighten your hair can damage it as i said and it causes breakage yeah that's all the tips that i have for y'all if y'all have some more tips for me because i want to grow my hair a little longer a little longer just put them in the comments below um hopefully y'all take my tips and use them and tell me how they work and yeah i mean yeah i'm trying to think i'm trying to think i'm trying to think if i forgot anything because i don't want to forget anything that's the end of this video i hope y'all enjoyed this video um if you want to see more videos like this more hair videos comment down below and make sure you tell me what do you want to see because y'all know i like i like to hear y'all feedback i really do like to hear y'all feedback so make sure you comment them feedbacks and is that it that's all and make sure y'all like comment and subscribe uh hit that bell notify every time i post um, all my social medias will be down below. Make sure you follow my Instagram, my Twitter, and all that good stuff. It's going to be down below. Make sure you have description box. You know the box. You know the box. All right? Okay.